All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the category structures and how to set up the categories for your store. But before I get into that, we're going to talk about some quick navigation tips to help you find your way around the software. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the table viewer. What the table viewer is, is basically just like sounds. It's a way to view a table of information. So let's go take a look at it. We're actually going to take a look at the categories table viewer. So we'll go to inventory, categories. And this actually isn't the table viewer. This is the simple mode. If you click on view all, you'll see the table viewer and you'll also see that view all gets larger to let you know you're in this section. So this is the table viewer, aptly named because it's a table to view stuff with. One of the reasons you should get to know the table viewer is because you can make quick bulk edits in here on any number of columns that you'd like. So if you click on the pencil above each column, except for the ID because you can't change the ID of the categories but if you click on the pencil above parent ID you'll notice that it changes into a text box like this so that you can change a couple of them and it'll mark which ones you've changed so that you know which ones you've changed and then you just click on save changes and you're done if you click on it again it'll switch it back also you can sort the table by a number of columns and you can remove and add columns as you wish by clicking on customize this view and you'll see all the columns available for this particular table in our case the categories table so if we were in products you would see all the product columns here so if we wanted to check out the alternate URL and to see if the display show availability is selected for these categories we'll choose those and click on apply preferences and now we have display availability and we have the alternate URL displaying here and we just like we can for any of the other columns we can click on edit and that's really it for the table viewer the next thing I'm going to talk about is the home and storefront links home is just like it sounds the home page of your admin which happens to be the dashboard which we just saw earlier this page when you click on home you come back here when you click on storefront you go to the front of your store and since I'm in Firefox, I'm going to hold the control key down and click on it so it opens in a new tab. And that way you can actually just flip back and forth when you're editing. And this is the front of your store, and this would be the back end of your store. So if you ever hear us or me talking about it on a video or even hear support saying go to the back of your store, we mean go to the back end admin section of your store. The last thing I wanted to show you is the required fields. Let's take a look at the categories real quick again go to inventory categories and we'll go ahead and go to view all and then click on one of these categories here and when you're inside of the details page of whatever you're looking at in this case a category or a product or a product option or a vendor it doesn't really matter any required field will be bolded so if you see something bold that means they are required in order to create a new record of whatever type this is in the case of a category so if you wanted to create a new category, you only need to fill out, well, just the category name and that's it. Because the parent ID is selectable and if you don't select anything, it just becomes a main category and you don't have the category ID to create, it, we do it automatically for you in this case. So in this case, all you need to do to create a new category is just fill in the category name and you're done.